Hello, everyone. Hope your day is going well. Let's dive into some server manager talk. I just uploaded new instructions for a new server manager, and I wanted to help people decide that aren't familiar with either one. The original one I did the download for was ASA Dedicated Manager. When I did that um, instructions, that manager was free and it would do everything you wanted to do. Since late November, that instruction went to a paid model. And now it's 13 pounds a year uh, annual subscription, or you can do a lifetime for 70 pounds. I don't know how that converts to US. Also, for me personally, sometimes paying overseas is almost impossible. Uh, it gets declined. It's just I've spent hours trying to trying to pay for ADA 64 before uh, because it's overseas and it's just it's a, it's a nightmare that I don't want to go through. But more than that, most of the features that are paid, except all of them that are paid, I will never use. Except to do a basic server update. So Art comes up with a new update. You can't update it in this through the manager unless you pay. And to me, uh, it's just not worth it. Now, there is, there are workarounds. You can make a batch file. You can go in and manually update it. But that's half of the reason I have a manager is so I can do an update. Click a button, update my server, play the game. So it was disheartening that he went that way with the with the update. He can do whatever he wants. It's his program. Uh, it's his his choice. But I want you to know, if you go with the manager and you want to update your files, you're going to either have to use batch files or you're going to have to manually go into Steam Command for every server and update them. I don't know what other obstacles you'll come across, if it affects mods, if it affects what it affects. Um, the web pages really doesn't help me at all. So it says seamless mod management with direct course for curse forge integration. Well, that sounds great. Is that with paid version or with the, with the free version? I, I have no idea. So he really should work on this so people can understand. Now, if you go with the Arc ASM server manager, you can play your game, install your server, update your server, whatever for free. You can, what you need to pay for if you go with a pro version of this one is server clusters. The rest of the features are included. So the cluster is currently the pro version is in alpha testing, beta testing, whatever. It's in testing. And it's $10 while it's in testing. So you go in, you donate $10 or more, and you get the, the pro version. You get it for life. It's a one-time charge. So you get the pro version for life. You pay $10 when if it goes to $50 five years from now, it's still yours. You, you already paid for it. So $10 is a really good price. His plan is to go to $25 once, it, once it's out of the testing um, feature stage. He plans on and going 25. And for me, a one-time charge of $25, that's fine. I'll pay that. $25 so I can update my servers and do clusters is, is no problem. The uh, one of the other major things that I am disheartened about with the old server manager is it hooks to its own servers. I don't know exactly for what processes for, but I know that sometimes that uh, connection is interrupted. 
Uh, there's Discord comments about it. And then when that doesn't work, your server doesn't work. Now, if your server's already running, it's probably fine. But if you stopped it and you went to start it, I don't know. It, to me, it's just unnecessary. I don't need yet another reason why my server won't run. Uh, you guys can make up your own decision. I just want you to know some of the differences that I'm aware of. There could be more. So if we take a quick look at the servers, the dedicated manager, you have your command line stuff. You have, you know, a bunch of checkboxes for different things. Uh, server management, you can do, you know, a restart. You can see the options here. I'm not going to read them all. Game settings, click the button and set up, you know, whatever you need. Game I and I, same thing. Player settings, world settings, custom override, map management. You can't do mods unless you pay on the premium one which I don't do mods, so that wasn't a factor for me. Now, this is the dedicated manager where you have to basically sign up. So on the new server manager option that you have, you can do your mods, you can do all your settings. It's very basic, you know, but... There's your set general settings, dino settings, rates, breeding, stats. I mean, you can read it. It's all very straightforward. Here's your mods, backup, schedule, and all this works. Like I said, if you want to pay, that's for your clustering. So if we go back to server settings main, there's your cluster ID and your cluster override. And you may be able to do a workaround on this in your INI files. I haven't looked it up yet. So this may be, you may be able to handle this another way. But for me, the $10 currently or $25 in the future at full 1.0, that's fine for me, especially since it's a one-time charge. But you can see we've got our different maps started up here. You can copy. If you already have a map, you can copy the files to the next one. You don't have to re-download them. Um, it has a custom override server. So the files on your cluster go automatically into their own folder. I don't know. It just seems to have everything I'm looking for. I just wanted to give everybody multiple options and to know what the difference was in the two, especially if you're a, a new to ARC. If you're new to ARC, you already have a lot to learn. So that's all I have for you today. Until next time.